Good day, CCF family. Welcome to this edition of Sunday Fast Track, where you ask real-life questions and we give you biblical truths. I am Pastor Eric Totanias from Across Family Ministry, and we're here today, none other than our speaker, Reverend Edmund Chan, to answer some of your questions. Reverend Edmund Chan, thank you for that wonderful message. We have several questions for you. First question, how do you prioritize living for God amidst the competing demands and destructions of daily life? And what guiding principles do you use to help you in your decision-making process? Yeah. You see, in Ephesians chapter 5, the Apostle Paul says we got to understand the will of the Father. What that means is to be able to connect the dots, see the larger picture, so that we don't get distracted or derailed, derailed in life. I have learned that I need to make time to take stock of my life. And then I need to take charge of my life in order to live it intentionally and then take care of my life. It's about soul care because we'll always be distracted otherwise. But once we anchor in the Word of God and anchor in His guidance mm. to take stock of our life, take charge of our life, take care of our life, He guides us to be anchored in Him, to be rested in Him so that we can live intentionally. Amen, amen. Thank you, Dr. Edmund. Second question. How do you discern God's will and guidance in the decisions that you make, particularly in areas where there may not be clear biblical commands? The Bible itself gives us principles, even through the narratives. It tells us who God is and the unchanging ways by which He teaches us. It tells us of His character. It tells us of His truth. It tells us of the desire of our Father's heart. So when we come to a place where we don't find an explicit command, because there's no command that says, don't smoke. <laughs> yes. Uh, whether we can go bowling or not, or watch <laughs> movies or not. In those times, the key thing is what empowers us and what disempowers us. All things are lawful for us, but not all things are expedient. Mm. And so we have to find out in that sense, what are the things, even if they are lawful, they are legitimate, okay. that we are not compromised mm. by these things in our inner life. Mm. That it does not distract us or derail us, but rather anchor us in our love for the Father. Mm. So there was a Christian, for example, football is a big thing. And every Sunday is football, not church. Mm. Then he realized, no, I Football may be legitimate. Mm. It's, it's not a crime. Yeah. But the way he went about it, his priorities are wrong. So he reprioritized his life. We need to reprioritize it. Amen, amen. I like that. With that, we can be um, free from that legalistic mindset that this should be done this way. It's more about really getting intimate with God and knowing exactly what He desires for us for His ultimate glory. Thank you, Reverend Edmund Chan, for answering our questions. And that's it for CCF Sunday Fast Track.